I have thought a lot in the last 24 hours. Same. About the television appearance of T.J. Jefferson's on The Price is Right. <laughs> and the number of mind-boggling mistakes that this man made. No. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. It's truly <laughs> just absolutely heart-wrenching. And in the same vein that we all lived and died on live TV of the Rich Eisen show watching his recorded performance, a month in the can, and people saying how they enjoyed us reveling in his excitement yeah, of his appearance. Of course. It was right? Great. In the same vein as that, that is true. We genuinely do love each other here and root for each and other. And we were so pumped. And if you had won the and car, nervous. I think we would have pig piled on you right here <laughs> yeah. on the set. Yeah. Okay. Like we the would have run all over. You would have left all three of us. It would have been great. Like Don would have been cutting yep. the cameras of all of us. Yeah. Had you won a car. And that's uh -huh. true. That was all yep. genuine. Oh, but in the same vein, we're all good friends who can say things to each other. <laughs> yes. Like the next couple of minutes. Yes. <laughs> oh, then let me get ready. <laughs> <laughs> because I could totally understand that it had to have been a out of body experience to be actually called up on the set of The Price is Right. You're seeing all the television carriers. Mm -hmm. Drew Carey's making you go, how much is a ping pong table? Mm -hmm. You nail that. Yeah. You get out of contestants row. And then... You see a game, I got to tell you, that master key game. I've never seen watch, that game before. You could watch 50 more shows, you might not see that game again. Yeah, I, I, I watched three weeks straight. I'd never seen that game played. But you are a veteran of Price is Right as much as I am. Mm -hmm. You watch a lot of Price is Right. You said you watched it with your late grandmother, right? Apparently I didn't watch enough because I missed you the master. You always game. take the middle key. <laughs> and master key you always take the middle key that's there's five keys you take the middle key the middle key wasn't the one the one though the middle key wasn't the one that w would have won something you took the one key that won nothing there was you a realize that there, right? i had a one in five chance so if you noticed i'm like there's five keys yeah i kind of turned my back Okay, let me let me. Why did you not look at what key you were grabbing? Let me. Get, That's my first so question for you. Let me get to this point. When you said out of body experience, yes. you are one billion percent on. Like I'm someone who's never been afraid of right. public speaking. I've done plays. I'm on TV every day. But when I tell you that when you walk out there, you do you you kind of leave your body. And when I went out there and I did the little Michael Jackson dance and Mike and Chris, <laughs> Mike and Chris can attest to this. I was, I had anxiety for like a week over the fact that like when they, when you come out, they want you to be hyped and yeah, jump up and down. I'm more of a chill like person. So I was like, what am I going to do if I get called? <laughs> and I told these guys later, I was like, I literally in my mind, because I'm weird. I thought, what could I do that might get me on I the open the of the show? Right? I was waiting for the Arsenio so Hall. So I thought about that. I said, so I ran out. I yeah. didn't know what I was doing. I did the Scott Hall. If you know wrestling, he kind of does the cool walk yeah. out. Yeah. And then I hit the Michael Jackson moonwalk. And at that point, 30 people in studio they all started cracking up. Of course. Of now, because course. That they got, that's what they want. Yeah. They, they, from game shows, what they want is they want interesting contestants mm -hmm. who will be interesting to people at home, and they want to win. They want you to win. Yes. So that's why they always put a key that's going to win something for Master Key right in the middle. <laughs> all right, so get Right him. in the middle. So, so when you grabbed... The key, mm -hmm. the one out of the five keys that would win nothing, because one key opens all three. Yeah. One other key is opens up one specific of yeah. the three prizes. One key opens nothing. So when you grab the one key mm -hmm. that opened nothing and then miss the opportunity to get the second key, I guarantee you all of them with a headset on, they were like... <laughs> and I bet in those right, so, okay they were all like because they want you to win of they course. want you to win yeah. we're was all a, happy when you win i was you good saw TV. Us yesterday we, you win. Win. we were like it was great all right so can i let me, allow me to retort that so me being me if you know me the people at home don't really if you know me i like if i do something and you laugh then it is on so when i got up there and the ping pong table came up. Now, I had just seen a ping pong table on an episode I watched the day before. So that's oh, why I got so close. Very good. Right? 
I didn't expect to be up there That's that quickly. Scouting. So the second I, my name got called and I won that and I ran up there and people were laughing, I didn't care about any prizes. I went into like stand-up mode. My only goal was to make everybody laugh. And then I remember a picnic basket yeah. and I made a Yogi Bear joke. The whole studio mm. started cracking up. Maybe and then I listened to the crowd about the picnic basket. They gave me the wrong price. But when it came to the key, Rich... Like I said, I didn't know how to play that See, game. Again, that's I went my to other grab thing the I was thinking one. about is that you were entertaining enough to get on the stage yeah, and I, then get to a pricing game. At that point, all bets are off. You, yeah, know, you could be as boring as you get. Now you got to focus. Take the middle key. I couldn't focus, man. You didn't take the laughing. middle key, and then you you spun the wheel, uh -huh. you, which was great. You got lucky, which is what you need. Mm -hmm. You yeah. need, and then you got to the final showcase showdown. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you, you took on somebody who had, I guess, must have won her pricing game because she got the opportunity yeah. to pass a showcase with two motorcycles and a trip to Florida that you probably would never thought you would ever want. But then you, you're our resident expert on motorcycles. He bids $45,000. I half a bar, right? I, or half $100,000 on this thing. I spoke to TJ and I said, I thought those were going to be 15 each, like 15000 which would have put him at 30. He still would have been over because I'm thinking the trip to Florida, 5,000. How many tops. days of trip to Florida? Because I didn't hear I think it was like five days. So I thought 1,000 a so day. So flights, accommodations. Yeah. yeah. But here's the deal, right? As Doing my research leading up to the show, <laughs> I had priced out. Let me, yeah, I took this seriously. I looked up prices on no, no, yeah, many cars. I looked up household appliances, refrigerators, microwaves. I looked up cutlery. I looked up everything. One thing I never thought to look up was a motorcycle, <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't why, ride why motorcycles. Why would you? I'd never why seen a motorcycle you? on there. You? You you and and, and you sell scouted. Them. There was no master key. Literally, we could DVR the next month of shows and you might not see master key again. Yeah. And the thing it's about crazy. your middle key, crazy. when yeah. I went up there trying to be funny and I kind of covered my my eyes. I think I grabbed you the middle did. one I first. Yes. The middle and key. then my thought he had it, and then he moved. Then, okay, he moved but then my thought was oh. that is too. Uh, it's like no, no you're not going to put it in the middle. They want you to win something. I know, but Your my first thought, thought process, is to grab something in the middle. My first, yeah, and and I was like, no, that's too easy. And the other thing was, oh. I didn't know that that was the only time I was going to pick a key. I thought maybe... You got another basket coming. Another, you had yeah, the basket I, with stuff so in I there. So I really didn't know. And you listen to the people. You yeah. didn't get your second key. You but were like too I busy. Said, man, I, 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 too busy. I was... I was <laughs> guys, you don't understand. You're entertainer. I was That's out so there having character. fun, oh, I love man. That. I had fun. And look, you know, 10 years ago, I was a little bit more down on my luck and... Had I missed out on the opportunity of getting a car, and I would have been, it would definitely have crushed me because that's where I was no, at I mean, that point in life. But this point in life, I can say, look, I've got a car, I got a few shekels in the bank, I'm doing all right, so I'm not as upset or down about not winning. You shouldn't be. You know, I think I thought I went out there, I had fun. I entertain the studio people, and to me, that's am I that's being too I critical of his I play right now, Chris? Because you're you're going into Chris Brockman turtle oh. mode over there, where you don't say anything, or yeah, you're not. The, believe me, there was like one or two. Overall, the responses on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube were oh. overwhelmingly positive. They are, and the thing is, yeah, but I'm not. I'm just going through your gameplay. Yeah, yeah. it's a great, so it's a great, mo it's a great moment. We really wanted you to win. We're well, trust film. me, you didn't and want so, me to win more than I wanted to win. No, no, I understand. Well, we're I looking at the man. film. Yeah, we're just and we're just kind of breaking it down. It's yeah. like, post, post day all twenty two. Yep. It's all good. Yeah, but I'm going to say all twenty two, and we noticed that you this left from a place of love. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Place of love. But here's the deal. Again. Motorcycle. Everyone I know, I know four people that have Harley Davidsons, right? These Harley Davidsons oh, are expensive yeah. bikes. So I'm like, there were two of them. Even if I would have thought, okay, these are twelve thousand dollar bikes, yeah, which I never would have thought they were under that. I still would have gone over. I never would have said twenty six. My minimum would have been probably thirty. Yeah. So I never, I, I never would have said twenty six because I had no idea you they could were, get a Harley really for eight thousand dollars. Those Harleys, are eight thousand dollar bikes. Eight thousand dollars. I was looking at them. I'm like, oh, I had that's no clue. crazy. So yeah, you know, there was a point like two weeks ago I was driving, I was like, man, crap. I could have had about twenty grand. But I'm not gonna allow that to get me down, man. Like no, I, I had a blast and I, and I felt like a winner because unlike when there's normally when there's two hundred people in studio, you have to get vetted by at least seven different casting producers, oh including CBS talent. So to get through all of that, I kind of felt like, look, we all won just by making it. Well, to I have to tell point. you, uh, TJ, uh, you know, you've been on the air here with us as a regular for close to a year now. Yeah. Um, 
there was the same rigorous process you were not aware of <laughs> um, that got you into that chair. So the you Susie know. Schuster, I had ah, to pass, yes, I had to that's pass the SNCBS that. for me. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> correct. So you got you got a ping pong table, uh huh. Which you're I haven't gotten yet. You haven't got yet. Yeah. Did you walk out with the popcorn machine? No, they, they'll all get sent to you. Probably. Okay. As a matter of fact, I brought my folder with all my rules and. Ah, so, I'd love to see that. I'm know. so I, I I love and you also. Have that uh, that wonderful price tag with your name, your full name on it, right there, my government name. And you've got people here on the campus in El Segundo stopping you, asking you if you were the guy on the Price Is Right yesterday. Yeah, yesterday bathroom. after work, there's a bathroom behind the studio, and there's like two <laughs> urinals with a little divider. I go in there after the show, mask on. I walk up, and the guy's standing there, and he kind of looks at me, and he looks back, and he just goes, "Bro." Or were you just on the prices right just now? <laughs> I almost went, I was peed on myself. I'm like, yeah, he goes, Welcome. we watched it during lunch. And he goes, I was like, yo, I think that's the dude that works in the studio. If Bad only you, you got were. this game, TJ, you would have won. Totally. But that's also over in 60 seconds. He, oh, got, yeah. he got a long game. He yeah. got enough. Yeah. Long game. Got a lot of time. We, it's too much thinking, too much a thinking. thinking. Yeah. We, you needed the putt. All I'm saying is this. Some of my best friends that you guys talk about a lot, Kutcher and, and Valderrama, they both have done shows on CBS. Yes. And now I'm hoping that maybe CBS sees me. Maybe they'll want to put me in something. There I you go. Know. Now we're talking. <laughs> Three and a half men. <laughs> <laughs> That's the meme. Over. <laughs> like this segment. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.